living in this way Are you scared of what you say? Is this what we came to do? Instead of loving, we're killing each other Just because you have to rule Everybody has to die for you Do you ever remember? What goes up must come down Cause on easy lies the head Lies the head of the way Those guys are deadly. They could kill you just like that, you know. And they had a gun. How the hell did you get hooked up with those punks? It's a long story, Shorty. It's a, it's a very long story to narrate, man. Harry, I need some kind of cult or something. I mean, those guys look to me like monsters from some other planet. What the hell are you asking me? What business of yours is it anyway? I'm sorry about that. But you've got to be on alert. Those monstrous punks are up to something. Watch it. Watch it, my man. Man, the hunt for me is gathering momentum. Those guys are all over the place, man. I'm telling you, I miss them now, really. This is serious. You mean they're still here? I said they're all over the place. Damn! Listen, you know what? The, the, the other tape, the other tape is in the ceiling. I just want you to just go there and get that tape. Hold on to it. Anything can happen. This fight is taking a different dimension. What are you talking about, Harry? I mean, anything can happen. Can't you see the police and those dogs are desperately after me? Man, anything can happen. This is serious. Listen, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take the tape to the first lady. You never can tell, just in case. Come on, Harry. What are you talking about here? You know it won't get to that extent. You see, there's no harm in taking precautions, GM. That's all I'm doing. Oh, man. I'm just freaking scared, man. I'm scared. I'm sure that bingo of a man is in this thing. He put me to this shit. I just know it. I know it. Are you sure? Of course now. How else? How else? What was he doing in the government house that morning? What else? What was he doing there? And I was told that, that, that the governor's ADC visits him regularly. And that punk has bought himself a new Mercedes Benz. I need no social to tell me that that guy's in this shit, man. And I'm gonna fix him. You know what, man? I'll, I'll see you, man. I gotta do some stuff. All right. So we are doing our best. Your best, James, is not good enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is not good enough. I'm sure you rather watch me walk straight into my failure. Sir, I, I suggest we summon Sergeant Osita, the First Lady's orderly, to tell us anything he knows about this. I have a strong conviction that Harry may want to get in touch with the First Lady, and if he has, I think uh, Osita might have an idea. Sir. You think this will work? Yes, sir. I strongly feel so. Uh, that is if the, the, he has had any contact with First Lady already. And how do you propose that we will make Osita cooperate? So, uh, Osita is not a problem. The money conscious Osita is ever willing to do anything for money as long as he's, he's well paid. Okay. P. 
pale sitter. If he has any useful information for you, go ahead and pay him. And then also pay those good for nothing thugs and, 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 and operatives. Even though they're not doing anything for me right now, pay them. Okay, sir. Thursday this week at noon, the boy will be handing over the videotape to Her Excellency at the Grand. Your Excellency, sir, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't interrupt any crucial meeting. No, you're not. Her Excellency has asked me to inform you that she's set now. Tell her I'll be out in a minute. Thank you, Excellency. Harry, Harry, just give me one reason. Why did you double cross me? I trusted you like a brother binga. I trusted you. Harry, I paid you as well, bro. Adams and this is my colleague. <laughs> You're late, sir. You're late. You shot him and left. He shot him? He shot him, sir. And he's lying in down there dead. <laughs> what? Now, can you describe this killer to us? How does he look like? Uh, he's tall and um, slim. He's a uh, dark. He was wearing a frownish face, so I can't even describe his face. Now, did you by any chance hear anything about their conversation? Um, I don't really hear much, but I heard the man telling my boss that uh, he double-crossed him and now the government wants him dead by all means and he's on the run. Then he shot him. Young lady, you must cooperate with us in order to arrest the killer of your boss. You understand? You have to come with us to the station to answer some few more questions and I make a written statement as a witness. You understand? <laughs> so let's see the cops. Please come in. He's in the studio. Jeez. 
James, you mean the boy who that's the video film editor who gave us information is dead? Yes, yes, Alessi. This morning. Poor boy. Sir, the interesting thing about it is that the film editor was murdered by the same boy who has your video tape. Oh, oh, oh. You mean we are not only now dealing with a blackmailer, but a murderer? Now we know we are dealing with a dangerous criminal. Somehow, he got to know that Benga betrayed him, so he went into his uh, studio and shot him dead. James, are you just going to sit there and, and watch this boy come to kill me or what? It looks like you are, you are downright incompetent for this job. I understand your feelings, sir. I, I assure you that as he meets with the first lady tomorrow to hand over the tape, we shall close in on him. James, this is your last chance. Get that boy for me tomorrow, kill him, and return that tape. Yes, yes, yes. Because if you don't, from there, just go look for another job. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Get out. Today is the day I come face to face with my destiny. And my heart beats faster even as I draw close to my destiny. Jim, you're more than a friend to me. Even upon death, I can rely on you. Please, just... Just reach the second tape to the first lady in case in case anything happens to me. Come on, Harry. Come on, you'll be fine. I mean, you will succeed and return here. Okay? I wish I can accompany you. No. No. We can't afford for that to happen now. You just stay, okay? Of what use is it going to be if both of us are knocked down. Who will deliver the tape? You stay. Alright? You're more than a brother to me. is your very last chance. And let me remind you once again that if you fail in this assignment, you'll both be killed. You know already that my job is on the line. And so I wanted to get into that room and put a slug in his head and get me those tapes. You must be careful not to raise alarm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if the worst comes to us, do whatever you must do to get those tapes, if that's the only way. Yes, sir. 
Be careful. Now move. Yes. Move! Who is it? Room service. What do you want? Your lunch is ready, sir. I'm not hungry. Take it back. But the food has never been prepared. You still have to pay for it, sir. All right, I'm, I'm coming. Just hold on. I'll have it anyway. Dead or alive? Dead. The tips. Just one? We got just one. We ransacked his bag and around the room, but got nothing. God damn it, this is not enough. Where can the second one be? Now he's dead. Nancy. Yes, yes, Nancy. I think you have to go to his room to find out what is happening. Because I can't imagine why he should keep me waiting for this long. Something might have gone wrong somewhere, Your Excellency. Or maybe he hasn't even checked in because I can't imagine he'll keep you waiting for this long. Worse is that the phone extension in his room is not going through. We would have called him at least. Let me check on him, Your Excellency. Better, Nancy. Better. And be fast about it. You know, we still have a long day ahead of us. Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> Did you see him? He's dead, Your Excellency. What? I met him dead in a pool of blood in the bathtub, stabbed with a knife in the back. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Get out of here. Let's get out. 
Uh, please hold on, Your Excellency. Let me make sure that the coast is clear before we leave, okay? It's all right. Okay. If you continue like this, what do you want me to do? It's okay. Honestly. Honestly. I will never let the killer of Harry to go scot free. Never. I must finish what I couldn't finish. Even if it costs me my life. It's okay. It's okay. Jim. Jim. Jim, don't tell me it's true. Don't tell me it's true. What else do you expect? And tell me, what else do you expect? God. God! Harry! Harry, why? No, 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 no. Yes, Your Excellency. I can't believe this. You should, Your Excellency. That's the truth. God. You mean my very own Oli has been the one leaking my secrets? Yes, Your Excellency. I've always suspected Osita. But my confirmation came yesterday when I met him at the governor's office. When I walked in, they all stopped talking and were very shocked to see me. Yes. Yes. I just knew it. I knew there was somebody very close to me who was giving out information. But how was I to know that it was Osita of all people? Osita? How very ungrateful. Your Excellency. If anyone told me that Osita could hurt a fly, I wouldn't have believed it until now. But if he thinks, if he thinks he can frustrate me, betray me, and destroy me, and go scot free, then he's got another thinking coming to him. Nancy! Yes, Your Excellency. I want you to find out more. And when you are sure, I want you to take boys and ambush him when he's retiring home. Yes, Your Excellency. I want him ambushed and lynched on his way home tonight. Now, move. Yes, Your Excellency. I need you to get your boys tonight. I want you to tell Osita on his way home. And I want you to kill him. You mustn't fail. Orders from above. Understood? Sound and clear. Good. Get on it now. Okay. Disappointed, Mr. Commissioner, to say the least. It's been almost a week now since the brutal murder of 
my wife's ugly, and nothing has been found. No suspect, nobody in detention. What, what is going on? Uh, Your Excellency, investigation is still going on. My men will make arrests immediately. Investigation is concluded. How many years will it take before you bring somebody to book? Hmm? How many years? It will not be long, sir. But this is pretty obvious to me. Did you say obvious, Your Excellency? Yes, it is obvious. A young recruit can unravel this case. It's, it's, it's open and shut. Your Excellency, you might not understand this. You are not aware of a group of power brokers who are blockading our ways and hindering the police. Top on the list is GSP Nancy, the first lady's ADC, who often ordered my men out of investigation areas, such as the first lady's office complex, where the victim was walking before he got murdered. Mr. Commissioner, this officer is under your command. Yes, Your Excellency. So what are you waiting for? Issue the warrant for arrest, and I will personally make sure that nobody amongst my people resists you or your men. Thank you very much for your genuine call. No, 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 body is above the law. Not even a police officer. Thank you very much for your kind cooperation, sir. See, uh, Nigeria is proud of genuine and honest citizens like you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, thank you. Well, I better take my leave. Oh, please, go to work. Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have you bugged all the phones of the First Lady now? No, sir. Well, we just started working on it, sir. We should be through in two days. We're just trying to exercise caution to avoid suspicion, sir. Good. I believe that the holder of the second tape must be frantically making efforts to contact the first lady now. And if he does that, he'll be walking into a very deadly trap by the time we finish bugging the line, sir. Good. I'll just get to work. Please, try and round this thing up, please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Order from Abu. I don't understand. You, you will understand when we get to the headquarters. Please, I can make a call. Permission not granted. Now tell me, Mr. Commissioner, why did you arrest and detain my ADC without my knowledge? Uh, please, can Except you give me enough reasons why you should arrest and detain my ADC without my knowledge. What do you have against my ADC that you should arrest and detain her? Your Excellency, your ADC has been making things difficult for the police by refusing us into uh, your office complex and staff. And is that enough reason why you should arrest her and detain her? Well, this is an order from the government house, madam. I see. An order from the government house. I can see that my husband is also involved in this. Now tell me, Mr. Commissioner, do you take your orders from the government house or from police authorities? Answer me, Mr. Commissioner. Well, your ADC will be released, madam. No. I want my ADC to be released right now as I speak to you. I said your ADC will be released today. I said I want my ADC released now. Didn't you hear me? It's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Hello. Uh, Musa, release the first lady's ADC immediately. <laughs>
Chris, why did you order the CP to arrest my ADC? Answer me, Chris. Why did you order for the arrest and detention of my ADC? Won't you answer me? Answer me! Answer me, Chris. Why are you so interested in the murder case of my elderly? How many arrests did you order for when your favorite bodyguard was brutally murdered in front of the royal hotels? None! Talk to me, Chris. Talk to me. Talk to me, Chris. Talk to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, Your Excellency. I can't wait to lay my hands on that girl. That girl who has completely taken over my husband from me. Nancy, can you imagine that my husband has not seen my nudity since I returned to this country? That's unbelievable, Your Excellency. But it is true. It is true. I even hear that the rumors making the rounds of the government houses that he plans to marry her. What? This is horrible and unfair. How can he be so heartless? That is why... Nancy... I am desperate to find that girl out fast and eliminate her before this issue gets out of hand. She has become a nuisance and a big stumbling block in your way. And she must be eliminated out of the way and fast too. Hello? Hold on a second. You have a call, Your Excellency. Yeah, hello. This is the First Lady on the line. Who are you? Don't bother about my name, madam. I'm a friend to the late Harry. The video man who was supposed to deliver the tape to you. Before he died, he had asked me to reach you with the second copy of the videotape in the event of his death, and I am prepared to deliver the tape to you immediately. But I shall conclude with proper delivery arrangements before I'll get back to you. Hello? Hello? Are they working? Uh, yes, yes, let's see. We just conducted a series of tests on the lines and it was perfect. Good. We could pick every statement word for word, including whispers. Good. <sighs> what would that happen if they decide to call her mobile phone? Uh, we'll take a chance. Yes, let's, see. let's take a chance. It'll work. p.m. this evening, I shall be at the Brasseries, opposite the university campus, to deliver your trip to you. Please, do not pass this information to anyone. It is strictly confidential. Hello, dear friend. How do I identify you? You shall not identify me, madam. I shall identify you and hand over the tip to you. All right. Dear friend, um, next time you call me, please. Use my mobile number. I am no longer comfortable with my landlines. Thank you.
Hello? Yes, hello. Please return home. The presence of your husband's men has sabotaged the plans for now. Please leave the venue and await further instructions. Thank you. decided to communicate with their mobile phones which means that when and where the tape will be delivered I don't know now push to the wall I am also ordering a 72 hour surveillance and shoot at sight order I want you to shoot at sight any young man or anybody you see with the first lady doing anything that looks like exchange of anything. Yes, yes Your Excellency. Demon, from now on you, the two of you, will follow the first lady everywhere she goes. And I swear to God, I will kill you personally if you make her know that she's being followed. Yes, Your Excellency. There's no going back. This is the moment of truth. Now get out of here. Hello. Oh, Mr. Shelley. All right. Just call him. Hello. Charlie. Brother. Susan just had an accident and is presently being admitted at at a Bay Hospital. I just brought her in. Oh my God, Charlie. How is she? Critical, brother. Very critical. She's actually in a state of coma. Oh, I'm so sorry, Charlie. Um, listen, she will be all right. She will be all right. Just calm down. I, I'll be there and say... In less than an hour, okay? I'll be there. I'll be there, Charlie. I'll be there. All right? Who's the My wife has suffered uh, severe internal bleeding, which has led to the clotting of blood in her lower abdomen. Jesus. And uh, as a matter of agency, we need to commence our surgical operation immediately. And uh, we need some of 300,000 to commence. Uh, you see, doctor, money is not the problem. See, just start the operation. I shall arrange for the money immediately. Well, my good friend, as a matter of policy, we are safe deposit before we commence on any medical attention. So we can violate the policy. Not even when the governor's younger brother is involved. Oh. 
house. I was just on my way to the hospital. How is her condition? She's still in a state of coma. And the doctor said I should go and bring some money so that we can... Um... No problem with that. I have taken care of that. Let's go to the hospital. No, no! your worst. But Chris, you should be ashamed of yourself for killing your own brother. Chris, tell me, how do you feel now? How do you feel now that you've killed your only brother? Fulfilled, eh? You feel fulfilled? But let me tell you something, Chris. The innocent blood of your only brother, Charles, will haunt you all the days of your life. Murderer. Talk to me. Talk to me, you man of evil. Excellency, Frank said he didn't know you had a brother. He's lying. Everyone knew I had a brother. Sir, of what benefit is the death of Charles to him? I believe it's an act of ignorance. The bastard maliciously killed my brother. He must pay. Your Excellency, I, I beg of you to forgive him. Already he has suffered so much brutality in the hands of the police at the criminal headquarters. James, so, do you want me to believe that you conspired with that bastard to kill my only brother? I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I want him dead tonight. And get out. Get out, James. Okay, listen, um, I will be going to Enugu in the next few hours. So if you can make it, come over to Enugu and meet me at the Zadie's Hotel so that we can talk. Madam, there is no need for us to meet face to face. I have saved both of us the trouble. As I speak to you now, the videotape is being dispatched to you via courier service. The videotape should reach you in the next 24 hours or even less. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so grateful. Um, how do I reward you? I was to compensate your friend with uh, $5,000. So how do I get that across to you? Madam, I need no personal reward for myself. But I shall give you my late friend's account number so you can deposit the money into his account for his family's use. That is when you have received your parcel. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Going to kill me. Will you shut up? The governor ordered you to kill me. I said shut up. Look, one more word from you and I will blow up your goddamn skull. 
Why do you want to kill me? All right, uh, you can go now. We have changed our mind. Run away before we change our mind. Go now before we change our mind. I said run before we change our mind. Excellency, it's a week today since your one and only brother was assassinated. How are you feeling now? Well, terribly sad. Um, and I'm going to remain like this for a long time. Charles, my brother, was my best friend and one of my greatest assets. Charles was assassinated by a man believed to be your bodyguard. Can you confirm this, sir? That is not true. My bodyguard has no reason, or any of my security details, I have no reason to kill my brother. Charles was killed by an unknown assassin who is still roaming the streets free. Um, but the newspapers are saying that the police have already executed the murder suspect, who is believed to be your bodyguard. What is your reaction to that, Your Excellency? Well, all my people are complete, no bodyguard of mine or security personnel of mine is dead or missing it goes to show you that it is not sure what the papers are saying what you people are saying your excellency do you have an idea of who may have murdered your brother and why i don't have anybody in, in mind anybody in particular but uh, i suspect that it is the work the handiwork of my political opponents and why would I do that, Your Excellency? It's okay. The governor has a busy day ahead of him. Good day. Thank, Thank you, Your Excellency. It's a war living in this place. It's a national disgrace. It's a shame living in this place. When my people got no face. Tell me why this has to be. So much hatred, revenge, I deal Just because you had to rule Someone else has to die for you This is Brenda, Dr. Funcho's daughter. So it is you after all. It is you 
After all we've done for your family? Well, girl, if you think you snatched my husband away from me just because you're beautiful and youthful, then you've got to come into you. Your Excellency, Demon is here to see you. What does he want from me this time? He said it's confidential. All right, let him in. Yes, Your Excellency. Good morning, Your Excellency. What do you want from me? Your Excellency, I am sure you are aware I've stopped working for your husband. And also retired from Telgrave and gangsterism after your husband ordered for the execution of my late colleague. My heart bombs. So what do you want? Your Excellency, I am here to show you remorse. Actually, I have some vital information, top secret, that might be useful to you. So what information do you have? Your Excellency, I am sure you are unaware that your husband has already concluded plans to bring in, in his long-time mistress Brenda as the new First Lady into the government house in the next two weeks. In fact, in the latest development, they just have their secret marriage three weeks ago. In our wonders of doubt, here are the pictures of the marriage ceremony for your confirmation. Of course, no wanted people were invited nor let in, apart from very few of us who have roles to play as his confident. It's a very small gathering, less than 10 people in all. I can't believe this. I don't believe this! <laughs> Top secrets for now, Your Excellency. Until two weeks later, when plans will be on the way to finally disgrace you out from the office. In fact, as I speak with you, your husband and the new incoming first lady are busy with each other at the usual rendezvous. Executive Room 1, Ama Hotels, Victoria Island. Your Excellency, that is the message. Thank you. to me. Where do you think you are going? Let your feet to house, right? you can't go in. Why? Order from Abu. Step aside! No! Mopo, step aside! I said no! Stop! Stay there! Stop there! Don't move! Shh! 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 Shh!
Yuki. So this is true? Yuki. Chris. Yuki, what are you doing? Chris, so it is true? It is true? It is true that you married this rotten bitch and planned to install her as your first lady? I, I didn't marry her. I, I just went to see her parents. Yuki, what are you doing? This is a war, Chris. Give me the gun, you can. Time up, Your Excellency. And you, First Lady, the game is up for good. Oh, you, you get. Bloodshed every day. Are you happy living in this way? Are you scared of what you say? Is this what we came to do? Instead of loving, we're killing each other just because you have to rule. Everybody has to die for you. Do you ever remember what goes up must come down? Cause on easy lies the head, lies the head that wears the crown. I feel my heart beat so fast, I hear the sound ringing in my head. I'm so scared how long I last before somebody shoots me dead. It's a crazy world we live in, so much hurt and so much hate. Oh, Jack, come stop these evil before we get to late. It's a world living in this place It's a national disgrace It's a shame living in this place When my people got no face Tell me why this has to be So much hatred, revenge, a deal Just because you have to rule Someone else has to die for you One crime to another It goes on and on and Is this what we came to do? Instead of loving, we kill each other I feel my heart beat so fast I hear the sound ringing in my head I'm so scared how long I last Before somebody shoots me dead It's a crazy world we're living So much hurt and so much 